Hi, I'm Chart Gal Lurie and I'm part of the Chart Guys community. I've been a trader and technical analyst for the last eight years. Today I'm going to bring you the market recap coverage for Thursday, March 7th. I'm going to cover indices, commodities, crypto, cannabis, and the psychedelic space was tripping today. It went nuts on a study. Let's start with the ES. I think we got to frame everything around the overall market. So last night we talked about sequencing. Sequencing step one and then step two as far as the most likely scenarios. We discussed a four hour lower high was the more likely scenario and then a four hour higher low due to the size of this bounce. That's what we were looking for going into today and then they broke out to a new all time high. Great performance led by semis. Actually, let's look at who led. Look at the semis. Amazing strength, technology, strength, communications going nuts. Consumer discretionary had a good day. Healthcare had a good day. The banks were a little weak, but we were able to offset that with so many sectors outperforming. And I'd like to stop here and just let you know today at 5 p.m. Eastern, we have a free webinar and the link is gonna be below in the YouTube description. And Joey Jungle Funk will be interviewing Devin and Trin, who I love. They are members of the Chart Guys community that started out with five figures and turned it into seven figures. And they'll go through their journey, and I can't wait for that. So 3 p.m., and the link is in the description below. All right, getting back to the markets, let's look at the economic calendar. So tomorrow, we have non-farm payrolls. This will be the biggest thing that happens tomorrow. And we'll see how that comes in. Uh, we want it to be lower because lower means less jobs and less jobs means that inflation is slowing. I know that's kind of counterintuitive. Bad news is good news, but that's the way it works. All right. In Q, we got the four hour lower high, four hour higher low, and then we were unable to break the all time high on Monday, March 4th. If you look at QQQ, we got a new all-time high during regular trading hours, but we did not get through this 44677 yet. RTY, we got a new 52-week high. The next resistance is 2126. Just trust me. No, I'm kidding. It's back here. 2126.80 is our next resistance. This looks great. Nice performance today by the Russell. The Dow. The Dow was a different scenario. We talked about how they had lost their daily support. Well, they were able to gain a five, four hour higher high today without a lot of follow through. So we're gonna to wanna to see some follow through on that tomorrow in order to change this trend. How, however, that daily lower low is most likely set now. VIX is in a four hour EQ, four hour equilibrium. How this breaks could be important tomorrow. We'll be watching it. We got Bitcoin up here getting near all time high, 69.32458. We broke the high of overnight, no, of yesterday. We broke the high of yesterday, but we have not broken the all time high yet. Coin was strong today. Bitcoin hovering up near those highs. It just, sorry about that. It just propelled. Oh wow, look how pretty that is. That was a beautiful equilibrium. It just propelled coin forward, the Bitcoin stream. Mara, Mara broke bear out of this equilibrium. And Dan pointed out this potential falling wedge on Mara on the hourly chart. And I was watching that as well, looking for some potential bear exhaustion down here. If, if Bitcoin can get a new all time high, this will be my number one play tomorrow. Riot, same thing. It broke the prior day low and it is weak. It could be a falling wedge. We have the dollar with extreme weakness. And gold is basking in the sun at the dollar weakness. Look at that uptrend. It's just on absolute fire. So back burner mode is how I'm staying in gold in my mind is back burner. If I'm going to trade it, there's just so many other good opportunities with big volatility that I haven't traded gold a lot lately. I did trade platinum yesterday, though. I shared that with you. I was looking at this downtrend line and then zooming in. You could see where we back tested it. That's where I entered and I exited up here at 914 or 15. Of course, it kept going, but that's OK. I got the big chunk of the move and I'm waiting for a pullback buy on that. Oil, oil, we close with an eight hour EQ, equilibrium, 8067 resistance, support 7752, and we've got a clear uptrend line. I will look for a short on oil if we break this trend line to the downside. Apple, 
I mean, I don't know how many bad jokes I can make about Apple. Probably a whole lot more, but we we opened up inside the range and quickly gapped down below yesterday's low. I guess gap isn't the right word. We had a nice recovery and gave it all back. Apple just remains weak. Then we have Google. Google had a great day. We reclaimed the daily 200 MA. I said it, I think Monday or Tuesday, that I love this monthly pattern and we're looking for a monthly higher low. And looking for that monthly higher low, I like to look for that while at the daily 200 MA. That's a, sorry, it's a nose itching. Uh, reclaiming the daily 200 MA, very logical area to try to bottom fish that monthly higher low. Microsoft has the daily downtrend. They're closing green, nice performance. They were able to get over yesterday's high. So let's see if they can put in this meaningful low, yesterday's low, and then get a higher low on the four hour tomorrow. Tesla, I was counting the gap down days this morning before the market opened. I'm like, that's a gap down, that's a gap down, that's a gap down. And then fudge, we did not, I wanted a gap down beach ball trade, like you're trying to push a beach ball underwater and it pops up. That's what happens, you have that many gap down days in a row. And bulls were able to reclaim yesterday's low to the penny right when the market opened. Yesterday's low, 173.70, and look at that. It held to the penny. What a nice risk to reward trade if you took that long. We kind of topped out at 180, but overall, Tesla's trying to put in a bottom here. We need that four hour higher low and trend change to feel better about it. Semis with a new all time high today. I mean, keep it on back burner mode. AMD was unable to get a new all time high over yesterday's high. And so we just remain tight, but we do have a high compression squeeze here. Semis may not be done. And let me tell you, show you the other one that has a high compression squeeze. Look at that SMCI high compression squeeze unable to get over yesterday's high. I will be watching these two names very closely tomorrow. Arm was pretty weak today. We popped up, I guess I shouldn't say weak. We popped up over yesterday's high and we were able to hold it at the end of day, but we ha it gave a lot of those gains back. Nvidia, back burner mode, back burner mode, back burner mode, back burner mode. I mean, what else can you say? It's a raging bull. And then the psychedelic space. So we had a study come out overnight. Mind met medicine, bio, let's see. Single dose of LSD provides immediate and lasting relief from anxiety. And it was approved by the FDA and it propelled MNMD up 51%. Of course, they did an offering in the pre-market they did an offering and it kind of pulled back on that offering but it still had an amazing run and then dan was pointing our attention to atai this cup and handle you see that rounded bottom and it broke bull today so a lot of us grabbed a position look at that volume i should go back on M M N M D and show you the volume average volume is 2 million it was 37 million today almost 38 million that is significant atai their volume Average 1.25 and they got 5.44 million. MSOS just continues to be weak. They need a news catalyst in order to get up off the rug. TCNNF, it had a down day. On the daily chart, we're losing that support. We're holding the 26 EMA, however. And I think that's it. So tune into that webinar tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern. And if you can't, that's okay. You can just grab the link and watch it later. All right. Y'all have a great day.